Hello, this is a middle school math instructional video for the following worksheet. Fraction Fundamentals Lesson 2, Converting Improper to Mixed Fractions. Let's begin. When we convert from an improper to a mixed fraction, we know that we are going to get a whole number followed by a fraction. And so a good place to start is just to leave a space right here for your whole number and then put in your fraction bar. Now, like when we converted from mixed to improper, we understand that the denominator stays the same. So you just wanna write in your six here if you are working with a six. Now, our first step then is just to figure out what does this whole number need to be? Here's how you do it. You take a look at your improper fraction and you just ask yourself, how many sixes are there in 37? How many times can six go into 37 without going over? Well, that would be six times. Write down your whole number of six. And then the last step is we just wanna figure out the numerator. To do this, you're going to multiply these two values together. Six times six is 36. Now we need to have a fraction that is equivalent to 37 over six. So you just need to figure out how many more do you need. So once again, six times six gives us 36, but we need 37, so we need one more. 37 over six is equal to six and one over six. All right, let's do this example. We're gonna put our equal sign here, and then we'll leave a little bit of space for the whole number put in our fraction bar and put in the same denominator of nine. So next we just ask ourselves, how many times can nine go into 77? How many times can nine divide into 77? Well, that's eight. So that is our whole number. To figure out the numerator, we're going to multiply these two values and see what we get. Nine times eight is 72. We need 77, so we need five more. Now, it's always a good idea to double check before you move on. Convert this mixed number back into the improper fraction. Nine multiplied by eight is 72, plus five gives us 77. Therefore, these two fractions are equivalent. All right, let's take a look at this example. We get our equal sign in there, leave a space for that whole number, and then write in the same denominator in our fraction. Then we do a little bit of division. How many times can eight go into 61 without going over? That's seven. Eight times seven is 56, but we need 61, so we need five more. And then once again, Convert this mixed number back to an improper fraction to see if you've done it correctly. Multiply denominator by whole number. Eight times seven is 56. Add five to get 61. These are equivalent. Let's take a look at what your worksheet looks like so you know where to put your answers. And then we'll do these examples as well. On your worksheet, you have plenty of space here just to show your answer. Let's begin. Whole number. We're gonna leave a space there, put in our fraction bar, denominator stays the same. How many times does eight go into 35 without going over? That would be four, so four is your whole number. To figure out our numerator, let's multiply these two values together. Eight times four is 32, and we need three more to make 35. Example number two, let's leave a space for the whole number, put in our fraction bar, denominator stays the same. Now let's do some division. How many times can nine go into 59? That would be six, so six is our whole number. To figure out the numerator, we're gonna multiply these two values and see what we get. Nine times six is 54, but we need 59, so we need five more. Number three, leave a space for your whole number, put in the same denominator, and then we do some division. How many times does seven go into 41? Now, you're probably thinking seven times six is 42, 
Therefore, it has to be five, because six would be too many. So we'll put in our whole number of five. Let's figure out the numerator. Seven times five is 35, but we need 41, so we need six more. Last example, leave a space for your whole number, put in a fraction bar, and the denominator of six. And then we do our division. How many times can six go into 43? That's seven. Six times seven is 42. We need one more to make 43. Now it's your turn. Complete the worksheet, and if you need any help, watch the video again. When you're all done, see your teacher for the answer key. Thank you very much for watching this video. Any questions can be sent to springhouseeducation at outlook.com.